Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm having fun playing it at the moment anyway. What I've done between episodes is I have actually managed to get this up up to expert level. And that basically means I can then make it unbreakable. So I've got unlimited ammo at last. Fantastic. That's really quite a this is quite an achievement that one. And this one we're up to adept, which is actually pretty good. And we've got Nocratic 3 in there, which is also really good especially in a zombie fight and i got myself in a zombie fight because i was just up upping the levels on this and i was outside and then the gas comes along blows my whole little wall up so all the zombies came to attack me but of course when i was doing that i've got this extra boost i think it's from the attack one so look i think an attack we've got this one battle sprint spirit uh shift to description Gives you a short strength buff. And when you killed one, you kill all the others fairly quickly straight away afterwards. This is great. So I actually survived, which was amazing. Anyway, let's get on with this episode. Today I'm going to make some more stuff for um, apply, uh, actually additions. I'm still having tr trouble with that mod pack and name. I don't ask mod name. I don't ask me why. But I'd like to make the crusher. So when I, I'm not going to make a double crusher, I'll make the single crusher, I think, first of all. So what do we need for that? We need an, uh, an iron casing. So we need two more ingots and some black quartz. We've just about got enough black quartz, actually. Um, that's a double crusher. Ooh. Let's have a look a second. There's so much difference. Oh, yeah, you need two single crushers. Good. And we need these. So we need some more... F uh, filaments that's going to be a bit of a problem because I haven't I've got four I think in this chest already now oh, we've got nine <laughs> I can do it good so we just make need to make the um let's get that made some the nuggets first of all so we need half of those plus one so that will give us our 18 and hopefully I can make up the the nuggets at the moment so let's have a look crusher Actually, that's the one I want to make. It's this one, isn't it? Ah, it's iron. I probably won't have... Oh, I have good... What's wrong with that? Why is that not working? Did I do the wrong recipe? Oh, I must have done the wrong recipe. It must be ingots and nuggets, huh? Let me just double-check that again. <laughs> oh, that gave me a shock. Yes, yeah, this one. So I can do it great, fantastic. Put those iron ingots back again. So we've got these, so we're going to put these straight away into the stroked crucible. Let's get on with that one. At the moment, I am making some more redstone because we're going to be ne needing some more redstone. Stroked crucible just needs these in here. Yeah. Great. Oh, yes. And I have compared the axles at last. And basically what I did is put a stack in here of ground nether rack and a stack in here. And they both did it exactly the same speed. There was no speed up increase by using a second uh, gearbox. So that's something to, to... I think these might be just stronger. They could be faster if, if they connected directly to the, to the main one. And I think on the main one here, or the, the windmill... I've put a steel gearbox here, but I haven't put any steel axles. So, I was curious as to whether... I'll try that out sometime, I reckon. See if it makes a difference. Because it would be great if it did. So, how much redstone have we got now? Ah, 16. I'll take those while, while we're here, because we need lots. And I think we've got to do some iron ingots, haven't we? Let's have a look. Cobble, that's just cobblestone, no problem, flint, no problem, Red, redstonia crystals. And I think these are, yeah, redstone, two redstone, and that will make one redstonia crystal. So we need two of those. We need some chopping boards, which I think, and some dark quartz. Chopping boards I think we can make easily enough, yep. We made six last time, so we'll have to make another six. I've got many there isn't a need for that. Let's do this one. Such a lot of lag on that. Let's 
So let's put those into this chest here. I think they'll go straight in, yeah. Even though this is full. Oh, put that in the wrong place. Let's put that back in the right place. Okay, good. And I think, what else do we need? I need to go and do, oh, yes, need that redstone and the glowstone. Have I got any glowstone? Do you know, I haven't got any glowstone. My goodness. That's okay. That's no big deal. We're going to get some glowstone. I'm just wondering on whether or not actually I can do this better. There's plenty of glowstone around. Look, there's plenty over there and there's over here too. I'll take this. We don't need all of it here anyway. And this bit over here. Look at that. So I haven't been harvesting glowstone very much. Let's just take the this one. Oh, left some guard. That's one block there. That's fine. Perfect. That'll keep the area lit up. Not that the lighting up areas makes much difference in the nether. The mobs seem to be a bit sort of impervious don't, to light. Now I need to put these in... I think I need to put these in the pulverizer. Let's go and put those in the pulverizer. Whatever machine I use, don't get any extra, so that makes no difference really. I think the pulverizer's just... Pulverizer, good. Oh, I don't need the filaments anymore, do I? I'll believe the redstone, glowstone in there anyway. So while we're here, let's get two of these Restonia crystals made. Huh. Doesn't work very well, does it? Let's just drop those onto here. What happened there? I think I picked those up as well. Yeah, I'm picking up. Why am I picking those up? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll press Q on it. Oh. <laughs> Try again. Ah, oh, perfect. That was great. Uh, I shouldn't walk on that one. I've done that, should I? So we've got those. I could put a dropper above that, of course. That would be cool. Just a... Yeah, a dropper might work. So, right, let's get on with this thing. So that's no problem. We can make those up. We should be able to make two of those. Flint, no problem. This one's going to be just iron plates. So we need two iron plates. Is that it? Yes, that's it, isn't it? That's it, isn't it? Two iron plates, no big deal. Now we just need two iron ingots. I'll tell you what, I'll go through the iron really fast in this mod, but... What have we got in here? Plates. Okay, great. I just, just simply shift the click those into that. They'll melt. Oh, I've actually got plenty of iron. So let's go and get those ingots now. They should be ready. I mean, the, yeah, the unstable ingots, or stable, unstable ingots. Very confusing. Maybe these plates aren't ready yet. Not yet. How far to go? Ah, not as far. Just a few more seconds, and I think I'll wait for them, because it's probably easier than going there and back all the time, isn't it? Too. There we go. So now we should be able to make the casing. I want to make that crusher as well and probably do that today. So we should be able to shift oh, what I haven't got in. Oh, dark quartz. And I haven't. Do I not put the chopping boards? But I took them out of here, didn't I? Let's take half of those. So we need some. Now, I think that's in this chest. I don't have much left. We only need. I'll leave two in. So it's the last one I've got before I can have to make some more black quartz. I think that was sifting, wasn't it? You don't get them in the nether anyway, so... So now I should be able to do that. Oh, just cobblestone, really? Right, fantastic. We've got the crusher at last. The other crusher I'm going to make is the one from Extra Utilities. That was a tip by 
Bob the Big Bat. He said I should do that. Now what are we missing? Just a chest for the automation. We're going to do some automation as well today, if we got time. That is um, chest, wasn't it? And pistons should be no problem, but I would need some more cobblestone. Let's take the cobblestone out of here and some wood. There we go, plenty of wood. Hopefully we've got enough redstone to make these two pistons for this. That's just a normal piston will do, isn't it? Oh, yes, I've got plenty good. I can make the crusher straight away now, I think. Yes. So we've got that crusher as well. Did I click? Oh, okay. I seem to have clicked a few extra blocks in there. I didn't intend to do that. No mind. Ah, but I cl completed the quest. Huh. I must have shift clicked them in. So let's have a look at that quest. I've got a few other quests we haven't completed as well. So, oh, environmental's opened up now. Uh, why is that opened up? But that's great. Because environmental tech's got some really good machines. Unfortunately, the one I would like to do would be the solar arrays Lunar Array. Oh, that'd probably be good. Void Ore Miners. Res void Resource Miners. They're pretty good. The one I would like to do is the Botanical one, but I'm not going to do that for a while because we need to get to the end or do something like that. Which quest did I just complete? Ah, here we go. Crushing. So let's claim the loot chest. Done. Stuff and things. Oh, we got, yes, the Soul Shard. I didn't claim this as well. And I think that's it for now. Yes, it is. Better with mods is completed, but I would like to do this as well. So we want the ordinary auto hammer. The reason I would like to do this is because what do we get? Experience, eight levels, and a chest. So we can do some fairly simple automation with this, and that's one of the goals. Because we do spend a lot of time doing sort of things. Don't no, not very much, but let's sort of have a look at the auto hammer. One of the recipes that's disappeared, auto hammer. So what do we need for that? Just a diamond hammer and two weighted pleasure plates. Diamond hammer should be no problem. I've got one, but that's damaged. So that won't work. So we need a diamond hammer. We should have some diamonds in here, actually. Oh yeah, two. I think I have to use this type of diamond and some sticks. And a couple of pressure plates, it's very straightforward. Now we should be able to make that straight away. Now I'll complete another quest, or to how let's go and claim the rewards for that. So the other ones are basically compressed hammers. The trouble with those, they use quite a lot of power. So I'm not really ready to do that yet. But there is something else I'd like to make. And that is, let's press escape on that and get out. I want the um, extra utility stuff. And what I want is the thin, or the ultra thin. I probably need to make two things actually. I think I need to make this wrench. So we're missing just some red dye, that's no big deal. Let's get that. And then we'll open up the loot chests. I think red dye is in. Can't s this bottom chest. Yeah, we've got 10. Good. The reason that is it works best on the, um, the red dye. It works best with the extra utility stuff. So we can now make this. Because as, we, as I've said before, now we've got these very th ultra thin. Now where are they? Let's have a look. Maybe they're called ultra slim. I know I've seen those somewhere. I wonder where they've gone to. Transfer. Yeah, this one. 
What's it called? A flat transfer node. Okay, fantastic. So basically we need to make some more of these. I want to make three of these okay, and that will make eight. Oh, I just need one. Okay. And an anvil. Okay, I've got an anvil. It doesn't damage the anvil when I do this, by the way. And a transfer node. Probably got a transfer node in here. Yep. These are very cheap. When you do these, they're really cheap. So let's do that recipe again. Just put that like that and put the anvil back again. So I'm just going to empty my out my inventory now. So I control space and click it. And let's control shift these out. And then we can open up these loot chests. What's that one? Lime lumius blocks, random things. Okay, that's a basic one. That's interesting. I'm not sure what we use them for. Four ender pearls, uncommon. That's actually very good at the beginning of the game. And the uh, diamond pickaxe and the, that, which I don't really need. I probably could throw those away. And these ones, I'll we'll put those in there for the time being, and we'll put the ender pearls away. And then we'll go and get our stuff back. And we'll start to put these machines down. Actually, it's putting the machines down is the bit I enjoy doing most. Oh, yes. Uh, another tip. Malakwa told me when I'm using these soul shards, I've got to have them in my hot bar. So I've been grinding a lot of endermen, and I've still only got... Not endermen, uh, zombie pigmen, and I've only got three. So because it wasn't in my hot bar. So there we are. That's a tip for you. I don't know too much about soul shards yet, so I'm going to have to do some research. Right, there's stuff back I wanted, didn't I? So now we're going to put these machines down. I wonder. Yeah, let's get the crusher going first of all. What I should show you is something, another... This is, I think, a bug. I've been talking to talking to people about this, and it looks like it's a bug. Here we've got some iron, 158. Okay. I shift click, I want four stacks if I can get it, which I probably can't. Okay, I can't. And then we'll make these, and then we put these into the compactor here. We've got a compactor. So the compactor is set to storage mode. Or oh, I can do two and a half. So you put these in here like this. Instead of getting seven, or with one left over, we're getting 16. So it's using four per, which is actually makes the uh, things go along a lot further now of course the trouble with this is it it's difficult to automate because you've got to make sure that you get um, exactly four in each time I'm going to think about how to do that if anybody's got any tips on that one let me know because I'd be very happy to to put those into the episode but I reckon it's going to be something like a, either build nine compactors which is actually an option Let's shift those into there. So let's put this comp this one down. I want the um, actually additions one down. Okay, because this is the best one by a long way for. Oh, how am I going to do power? I'll do underneath. I think. that where the generator is oh yes that's where the pipes are isn't it okay I normally do underneath anyway it's my fa usually my favorite place for power so we want the standard list to influx duct we don't care about that that much about the rate of transfer at the moment because it's just as long as it comes into these things there we go it's filling up now what's cool about this it doesn't make any difference with with um, glowstone of course you still get four but let's go upstairs and I don't know if I've got any redstone or or I've used it all up I was getting a bit short of redstone so I was using a lot of it up no I've got plenty look let's take one of those let's take one lapis and let's go and put those into that crusher
Now, if you remember rightly, I think it was about six I got from 12. And this one, I think it's eight. 10. So that is a really good way of getting, using that uh, nether ore for that stuff. It's great and, and it's a really good, the best one. So the next one is this. Let's see if I can do this. Where are we going to do it? I think I would like to do it here. Yeah, we'll do it here. I'm going to have a bit of a problem with the space, but I'm going to move stuff around later on. So I'm going to put the crusher down. I'm going to put it down this way, like that. I'm not sure whether things connect to the face. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put onto this the trans flat transfer node. I think I shift right click it on there. And that's the green face, and that's important because that basically is the output side. So what we can then do is we can then put into that an auto hammer beside that. I really need to be able to put these two beside, and I don't think I can, but like that. And I want to be able to do is put onto this edge here another one of those trans uh, flat transfer nodes, but I probably can't. Try it. Huh. I have to remove this one to put that on. Oh, no, I don't. Let's just remove this. I know how to do this. This is actually a good trick. Let's remove this. Shift right click with the wrench. Let's remove this. This is uh, probably a pickaxe. Huh? What you can do with this one, let's move this one out of the way. If you shift control, I think, was it shift click it? So right click normally puts it on. One of these keys allows you to put it on in reverse. Maybe I just right click it on. I'll try again. Shift. I can't put. Oh, silly me. Yeah. So that was Control and Shift. So basically it's Control. And you see that's the red face, which is the input face. So now we can put this down again. Like that. So then any items that are in here will get pushed into that. So in here we can put some cobblestone. I might need to filter this, but well, for the time being, we can put some cobblestone in there. We need power, of course, so we need some connectors. But what I haven't done is actually test this in this episode, so I could well and truly get it wrong. But it wouldn't be the first time, would it? So there we go. Let's put those up there. I don't need those. I do have some glowstone. I had two pieces. So I'm getting. I'll actually put the glow, all the glowstone blocks up there as well. And the glowstone dust, I mean. I didn't go and get the connectors or the wire. I'll take those three connectors and we'll take the, all of the wire with us. Now, the problem here is you tend to run out of power. When you're doing these machines that's why i'm not using the comp the um, com compressed ones if you want if you want to know that needs power to near can get in it <laughs> that needs power so we should be able to connect all of these up i know it may not reach or may do we'll soon to find out yeah like that so this has now got power and it's set to always on. So if I put some cobblestone in here, I'm hoping this will come out. Yes, it does. So it's coming out into here. So that's getting then crushed into gravel. Like that. The gravel should be then coming into here, which it is. You can just see it. And then we should be getting, oh, sand. Okay, <laughs> well, I probably don't need to do that, do I? And then the sand will be coming, uh, it won't go anywhere at the time because this is full. And this is full with um, dust. 
but later on it'll do the sand. Now what does the sand do for me? In fact I probably just put cobble straight into that, doesn't it? In fact, let me try that as well. I'm pretty sure the hammer should make gravel because it does when you manually hammer it. I probably won't take all those out. Let's leave those in there. Just take a stack of the ordinary, st the ordinary stuff out. Uh, yeah, that's probably what I need to do next. Is to put one of those on top of this lot. Maybe I'll use that one because I'm going to use it for anything else for a while, am I? So if we now put, yeah, that's all right. That's got that in it. Can I put this into there? Yes, I can. Good. You see, this goes down fairly fast. It's using 45 Fe per take. And this one is also using 45. That's 90 Fe per take. And this one is using... Doesn't tell me, does it? I'm not sure what this is using. But all of those three are actually using all the power from the windmills, so I need to power it up a different way. Right, now it's hammering, the, yeah, so it's, that's working, that's making gravel. So all of these will go into here. Of course that'll get stuck now because it's run out of power. And I suspect this is going to go down as well. Doesn't matter. So in here we should have some more redstone. We've got almost a stack of redstone, which is great. So let me, I put it about, let's have a look, I think I put in about eight, six stacks of dust, so it's not very efficient, it's supposed to be 20%, something like that. Now, I want to show you something else. I found, when I was looking for my chest, my missing indictadic, oh, what's it called? Let's have a look, this one, interdiction torch. It was on the roof. <laughs> I thought it got blown up. Now, I don't have this in my world, but around about, let's have a look, this hole, there is um, a chest. It's probably a bit further back actually, but let's put this, go down, so let's, I'm gonna get this two redstone blocks while I'm here actually. And in that chest, there's some coordinates on a piece of paper. Let me check, I've got that into none mode, which I have. Oh, and this, this one. And I think I've left some up there. Like that. There's, 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 so the coordinates, now let's have a look at that. Control set. They are, I've got quite a few markers, haven't I? Here, place. So I look at that. That's what the coordinates are. And what's there is a grave. So we've got to go and have a look and find that grave. And it basically it's a treasure chest. A treasure, um, treasure chest? So we've got to find, the, go through lots of chests and find the different places. But it's very dangerous. Because I had a quick look and see where it was. And it was extremely dangerous. But I even got killed. <laughs> but there was only just that. It was only a copy of a world, so I didn't really care. Let's get down here. But we need to make some things for that. And what I'd like to do, and whether I've got time to do that today, I don't know, is to make. Um, what I'd like to make it's a, uh, a jetpack. So we might be able to do some of the jetpack. Let's have a look at how difficult that is. There is something else we can do as well, which is probably more interesting for the time being. We need to make some of these. Um, I've got them prepared. That's basically, let's take these. Take a stack of these. Oh, and I need some swords. I think, I think it's gold swords, but I was very carefully throwing away my gold swords. For no apparent reason, and I don't have that many left, so because I wanted to clear this chest out, I've got a few in here. That's one. There's one that's ready there. I can't get enough space for that. Okay, let's do a clip that. Get rid of the wood, maybe. 
No. Oh, I did make one space. And let's put something in this back here. I don't need everything I've got with me. But we don't need those two. I don't know whether this is any use because it didn't seem to do anything last time I did it. And also I've got, I made this, which is basically uh, an all-in-one tool. If you're looking for the recipe for that, you should have a look for the recipe of that one. Oh, sorted itself out, of course. So it's an axe, a big axe, a shovel, a hoe, and a sword. It doesn't have that much attack damage, seven. So the Ina Iot, I think it's how it's pronounced, don't know exactly. Let's get those up to there. I don't need that in here either. No. It's one of those things that would be useful for mining around when you don't need to do too much. Sharpness too. Right. So let's have a look at this. So the uses of... Oh, I didn't pick it up. Oh, well, that's I didn't pick it up because I right-clicked this again, didn't I? Let's take a stack of that. Have a look at uses of the molten cores. So we can make magnet creams, blaze rods, a sojourner's staff. Oh, actually, that's uh, a void tier. Probably the bit that's hard to make. Oh no, I can actually make that, but I'm not going to because we don't have any of these other bits. We've got one of these and a few of these nebulous hearts and lapis lazuli and gastes. Gastes, we've got, I've got those. What else can we make? This one, a Magna Charm Pregnant. And the uses of that, we can make a Magna Charm Cube Charm. I wonder if we can make a, a Blaze Charm as well. There might be a different one for that one. Let's have a look. Because the one I'd like to do, oh, it's this one here, look. So I can make these as well, Blaze Charms. So we're going to make both of those because they're good against blazes and magnums and in fact my, actually magnums are actually a bit of a pain so we need ah no space of course let me just go <laughs> let's put this wood in here I don't need the wood with me I could actually use the, the I could actually use the swords maybe that's a sensible start let's take some of these out of here and some of these out. I have to take out a stack of these in fact We'll make both of these because we've got, and we need six, don't we? So let's look for the uses of, again, of that one. I think it was page this this one. So we can make ten. So we need to make six of these. I think that's what we need for the charm. Indeed, we do. So we now got a blaze charm. So blazes can't see you with this, which is great because they're a real pain. And I think I put the other stuff somewhere else. Where did that go? To? Oh, it came back into my good. So that's that one. And magnets. We need some magnet cubes. So we can do the same again. I think I don't have enough. We're going to need some more of these. And I have actually tons of these. Let's put, let's put them all back and take a stack. How many have you got? A thousand and twenty-four. And that's one of those that's those are just coming from the mob grinder which is up there and it's not very oh i didn't take a stack did i took one let's try again shift click so let's try that again so uses of that one this one we can make eight, we only need six. So we can then look at the uses of this one. And we can make a magnet cube charm. So we're missing a piece of leather and a piece of string. <laughs> Let's put the magnets back, magnets back in there and put those back and then we can go and get the other bits. In fact, I've got some other stuff I can put it back if it's possible, it is good. And the filament, I don't need the filament with me either. Gosh, that chest is full. Piece of string. And what was the other thing I need? I forgot, a piece of leather. 
have I got no piece of leather about? Oh, that would be very surprising. Maybe I've used it all. Scoured it all up. Well, I've planted these anyway. Let's take a, take a stack of those. Let's put those into the... Into the... Um, grindstone? Millstone? Millstone. And they'll produce little bits of leather fairly quickly, I think. And I probably could do those manually faster, couldn't I? We need only four pieces, I think. I think I get four, uh, two, two free from each one. So we won't be too long to get another one. And then we should be able to make a piece of leather. Four, good. I think that'll work. Yeah. So now we can make that charm. Testing it out is going to be a bit more difficult. So, right, let's go back to this one and let's look for the uses of that one. So it's this recipe, the Magna Cube charm. So the last one I'm going to make is the, I'm going to make another one of this, aren't I? Because I need to do that for, the, I'll do the blaze rod version of it. So I'll make this that one. So I'll take another few of these. And we'll make the belt, because we can put them all in the belt. And then we can put the belt in the bauble slot, I think. What I should do is make these swords up. So have I got any very weak swords in here? Yes, I have. That's not quite still very weak. I made one, so I've got four swords. So. Yeah, I'll do four swords. What happened to those things? Did I not take those with me? Oh, they're in my hot bar. <laughs> so we need some blaze rods. Oh, I'll put those blaze powders. Some blaze rods. Actually, I don't need to take those out. They do the clung stay in there, can't I, for the crafting? So now let's look for the use of that again. I think we still need six. So then we look for the uses of that. So this one. So we just need some. I actually only need five. So we need two pieces of leather. Fortunately, I did all of that. So we just need three pieces of leather. So we need 12 of those. Great. Let's just do them like this. It's nice when you can do your math, isn't it? Strange it put that in there, never mind. So now we have the belt. If we now put this down here like this, and then open this, I think we can put... Oh yes, we can shift-click these in, and they go in like that. And then I think we can put the belt, the charm belt, on your break, on your baubles. Let's have a look if we can shift click that into there. Indeed, I can. So now they can't. I can't be seen by magna, magmas or um, slant, uh, blazes. We want to do this one next as well. How many of these have I got? Eight. Now I got a long way to go before I get to my forty odd that I need for that. And then we can't be seen by Enderman either. So right, that's all the uses for that one. And it's this one. It's the golden sword. So I can make four of those and I think I've got some more somewhere. I put those I made them earlier on. And I put them in a chest which I've then moved, of course. So we also need some rotting flesh, and I've got should have no shortage of rotting flesh. Can't see it for trying. But it must be here because it's coming from the there we go. I think I need about Oh, I need at least four pieces of this. I think I need... So let's see if we can find those. Not in there. Not in there. Three zombie pigment charts. So I need to make three. Good. So we need two more pieces. Oh, I've got enough swords. That's fantastic. So, right. Uses... Uh, of course, the swords don't stack, do they? <laughs> um, I 
And of course, now I need a piece of string and a piece of leather. Wow. Okay. Piece of string. And some leather. And I still can't get through doors. I should have removed them, really. Because I don't need them anymore. I'll take all 44 and we'll make the... That'll go up nicely if we can get make 11 pieces of leather and I can put those away somewhere safe, can't I? Let's do that. So now we can alternate to make the zombie charm as well, so that's for the uses of that. On zombie pigment can't see me now. Which is actually good because you can kind of attack them. So I need to go back to my baubles belt take this off, I think I have to do it that way. Might be a shortcut, and let's put the zombie pigment charm in there. And let's put that back onto myself. That's one of the things I've got to do for the excursions. Does that go in there? Okay. So, I think that's it for today. No, no, I think we've got one more thing to do. Let's just have a second, let's like, before I start going away, Let's open up my inventory. No, I did all my things, didn't I? But what I do want to do is to up some more levels. This one is nearly about full. So let's get these going. Let's have another look at what we can actually do. So I like the combat ones best because they're the ones which I'm worst at. So stealth, stealth damage and sneak speed. So I can upgrade this one, so I can go sneak faster. This one, I need 37 levels, I've actually got 47. So what I have to do is cancel that, and done. Oh no, I haven't got 37 levels yet. But we will have by the time this is finished. I can get just the amount of getting, I just did this before I actually started the episode. And that was 40 minutes ago. So it isn't too bad. combat that one's f is completed there's nothing there this one melee damage so 10% direct damage per level so we've got seven another one of those will give me that done let's have a look again mining one's got a good one as well by the way stone cutting prospecting so you get um the potential to double the ores and actually i have been getting that a few times and they turn into those strange ones done so i'll do that again oh wrong one see i've got this one at attack up to 41 <laughs> if i get one more skill point that might be a good one actually because there are those nasty creepers here and they would be quite good to get. Ah, I've got my nine skill points, it's fantastic. And now I need 11 skill points, okay. Turn that off. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. And very much, and th before I go, I want to say thank you very much for all your tips, by the way, they're really good. So until next time, bye for now.